Friday. It is now March 19th. And we have some more medieval. Starting to go 27 AD. Count Ugolino of Semi is elected Pope Gregory the Ninth. This pope is responsible for issuing de creteos and instituting the papal instant inquisition over the failures of previous inquisitions that were instituted by previous popes. And in 1279 AD, on the same day, a Mongolian victory at the naval battle of Yamen ends the Song Dynasty in China. And in 1452, Frederick III of Habsburg is crowned as the Holy Roman Emperor by Pope Nicholas V in the city of Rome. On March 20th, in 1345, this has something to do with astronomy a little bit, Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars conjunction is thought to be the cause of the plague epidemic has spread across Europe. See, they didn't really have the knowledge that we have today about the planets and the stars. So they saw these as signs of God and such superstitions and such as that. And at 1413, Henry the Fourth of England is succeeded by his own son, Henry V. Rebellion goes on to defeat the French over some territories. And on March 21st, in 630 AD, the Byzantine Emperor Heraclius restores the true cross to Jerusalem after recapturing it from the Persians, who held it again. And in 717 AD, at the Battle of Vinci, between Charles Martel and Ragenfried. And in 1188 AD, accession to the throne of Japan by Emperor Antaku. And in 1349, between 100 and 3,000 Jews were unfortunately killed in the Black Death riots in Erfurt, Germany. And in 1413, Henry of Monmouth, Prince of Wales, comes and is crowned King Henry V of England some day after his father passes off. Well, that's all the medieval I have for you today. You have a good one. Bye.